Today's guest isn't just here to talk about her passion in life. She's also here to talk about how you can find passion in the dating world. My name is Natasha Noel, matchmaker and dating coach, founder of Absolute Bachelor Club and Breakthrough Date Coaching. I am passionate about helping successful men and women, entrepreneurs, business professionals find love. Natasha, thank you so much for being with me this morning. Thank you, Cindy, for having me. <laughs> My pleasure. Now, you have an exciting career. <laughs> I do. I think so. <laughs> you get to match people for a living. I do. It's, uh, it's wonderful to, to be able to connect individuals. Right. Now, how does one go from doing a bachelor in communication to starting the Absolute Bachelor Club? You know, um, I have a personal journey. Um, didn't always think I was going to be an entrepreneur. Actually, okay. it wasn't in the plan. I was pursuing acting for many years. I was a project coordinator. And I wasn't, I wasn't fully satisfied with, with what I was doing and who I was and soul searching. Right. And it came to a point where I had to make a decision. And in that decision making, along came mm -hmm. um, starting my own business. Okay. And at that point, you just wanted to start a business. It wasn't necessarily in the dating field. That's correct. Um, I, I actually wrote a book that hasn't been published yet. Oh. And it's Wait, a, is this a scoop? <laughs> Are you giving me a scoop? <laughs> <laughs> but it was years ago. My friend was getting married. Okay. I was looking for a special gift for her. And she, she wanted to, um, I wanted to offer her tricks, tips on uh, making her marriage successful. Okay. So I wanted a survival kit for her. Mm. And so I wrote the book with 30 lessons that would be helpful for her to survive her marriage. And I, I purchased the 30 gifts that came along the tips. And wow. I thought, you know what, I'm going to commercialize my book okay. and I'm going to sell gift baskets, survival, marriage survival kits to women who are getting married. And that's the first that's business genius. I started, <laughs> but it didn't last too long because something was missing. Okay. And I had a business coach and he said, you know what, something's missing along with everything that you're doing yeah. and give it some thought. And I came back on my next session and I said, you know what? I, I'm a matchmaker because I had been doing this for an employer years ago. Okay. And I said, I'm going to help women find love and I'm going to help them be successful in their relationships right. and we're going to sell these baskets. So I, I started the matchmaking business and it took off. Okay. And so I had to leave the uh, gift basket business. Oh, well, are you going to get back to it? I think it's a great idea. The book will come out, and that I will publish. I'm not sure I'm going to sell the baskets. OK, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I've never heard of anything like that before. It's, That'd be it's great. It's different. <laughs> Thank you. So tell me more about the, the um, Absolute Bachelor Club. Mm -hmm. So you went in and decided to continue matching people, and you created that. How does that work? Who qualifies for it? Mm. <laughs> who qualifies for it is a person who's realistic about their expectation, mm -hmm. who um, has a steady job, who uh, knows who they are, um, who is ready to find love, and who's really not looking for someone to fix their life. Okay. Um, and if you're not there, you can still qualify to come, but then you'd be qualifying for coaching. Oh, okay. And so that we can get you ready for the relationship that you want, as opposed to the one that you might have been repeating for years oh, okay. if, you know, you, you weren't really quite sure what to look for. So you're helping partner. people break some habits as well, bad dating habits, we could say. I do, because you know what? We, we weren't born with the dating manual. Okay. You know? <laughs> and as much as we've had um, lessons in life and, and we have, uh, sometimes we have mentors or, or we can see our parents as figures, um, mm. but, but we don't always have... Um, the right role models for right. relationships. And with coaching, we can definitely help women and men um, be better choosers to okay. find partners. Okay. And by not having the right role models, are you referring a bit to, uh, because you know, in psychology, we learn a lot that um, your, your relationship style is often based on your relationship with your parents. So are you talking about maybe long cycles or patterns that maybe we grew up seeing 
that we need to break with time or just in general being socially awkward? <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely uh, the way we are in relationships. Um, we bring what we, who we are from our childhood into that. And so as much as I'm not a psychologist, I'm a matchmaker and a dating coach, but we definitely have to look at our past to mm -hmm. be able to um, evolve and, and grow into the person that we want to be. Okay. And why absolute bachelor as opposed to bachelorette? Mm. <laughs> the Absolute Bachelor Club is the place that gathers amazing men who want to be in marriage commitment, who okay. want to be in long-term relationships. And for sure, the, um, the women are absolute bachelorettes. Uh, that's, that's, um, that's, that's who I am here for okay. at, at the core, <laughs> right? I'm a woman. I, I love love. Right. And for the love of love... <laughs> You're hopeless got, romantic. <laughs> yes. My mission is to find the best guys so mm -hmm. that I can nice. connect the men and women so that they can be in, in fulfilling relationships. Right. So the Absolute Bachelor Club has been around for almost four years now. Yes. And you said it took off pretty quickly. It did. And what are the next steps for, uh, for the business? Next steps would be... Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> more events. Uh, more more events, um, opening up more markets. So we're basically in Toronto and Montreal, mm -hmm. uh, but to expand in North America and, um, and to have more coaching clients. So to help mm -hmm. with retreats and to gather women um, from around Canada and, and the US right. uh, to come together and learn how to become better choosers again. Right, mm -hmm. all in the name of love. Yes. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so in terms of uh, you continuously growing your business, are you still working with your coach, the career coach you had before? Ooh, I have had so many. Oh, really? Uh, so that, that initial coach I am no longer working with. Mm -hmm. um, so, but he had his role and I, I have three, three other business coaches right now, yeah. How important would you say that is? Because I mean, I, I do think that it helps a lot to speed up the, the learning curve as well when you have someone guiding you. So how important it is for you to have these coaches? It is the most important part of my business. Mm -hmm. um, they help accelerate. They've made the mistakes before. Right. They, uh, they can help you with your vision mm -hmm. into uh, having a good action plan so that you can get to the next step. Um, and they help connect uh, connect you with some certain people, individuals that can help you uh, expand your business. And okay. so it's the same with relationship. Uh, some people will think, oh, I don't need a coach. What's a coach going to tell me? I've right. been dating my entire life. I know how to date. But a coach is mm -hmm. uh, an accountability partner and is able to to help you with your vision right. and to help you be structured and to help you get to the next step. So it's, it's the most important thing. Is that what you would recommend to up-and-coming entrepreneurs? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. And I get those calls a lot. I've got matchmakers calling me, hey, what are you doing? How, do you, how did you get to where you are? And I said, I got a coach. Right. And, then, and then some people have, um, they hold back and they, they think really? they don't want to spend because they think it's going to be, um, if you're spending and what you spent is helping you increase your business, right. then it really it's is an investment. A, yes. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yes, I, but I kind of understand it. When you start a business, you're on a shoestring budget mm -hmm. and every dollar counts. So sometimes people may think, okay, I could invest this towards my new website or my product. Do I want to spend it towards a session talking? You know, so I can understand the idea. I think it's, uh, it, it's hard for entrepreneurs to afford a lot of these coaches because they're charging hundreds of dollars per hour. <laughs> So it's, uh, I, I can definitely see where they're coming from. So what do you recommend for these people? Um, success requires risk. Mm -hmm. And if you're not willing to put it all on the line, mm -hmm. you're going to get the same result. So the, Albert Einstein's definition of insanity is to do something over and over again, expecting a different result. Mm -hmm. So 
as an entrepreneur, if you're a woman, if you want change, if you want to break out of your routine, if you want to have better income and enjoy your life mm -hmm. uh, and do the things that you want to do, you're going to have to take risks and they're calculated risk, but uh, a right, the right coach will right. help you get there. And so definitely you have to jump. Right. It's, uh, it's definitely a topic that comes up a lot on this couch. I find all the business women I interview are definitely risk takers mm. and they're not afraid of it. And even if there's some fear attached to it, they're very good at overcoming the fear, right? And still moving forward. So are these coaches more specifically for career or do they also help you for more personal things as well, like personal development? My coaches are business coaches. Okay. Um, I haven't had a life coach per se. I didn't necessarily need one. Now, a, a business coach, if you have issues that are going on in your life, they're going to want to probably talk about them because if there's something that's preventing you from moving forward, then it needs to be addressed. Right. So a coach is a coach at the core. Okay. Um, but hopefully they don't have to spend each session talking about you know, the relationship problems that you might be having or the issues you have right. with uh, a friend or work or... Um, it's still focused. It's very focused. Okay. Wow. So you were mentioning before as well that they, they keep you on track and accountable. Mm -hmm. um, now, a lot of women that I know, including myself, we want to do so many different projects at the same time, so many things. Uh, do they help you really choose one thing at a time? Do you feel sometimes like maybe it's putting you in a box or they very they encourage you to be adventurous and try different things? They give you as much as they think you can handle. Okay. You're always uh, in control of what you're going to do. A okay. coach isn't someone who tells you what to do. Um, for example, on a, on a sports team, the coach would tell you, well, you're on the ice now. No, um, your business coach is going to ask you some questions. You're most likely going to come up with a solution. Right. And you're accountable to come back and say, you know what, I've, I've done it. I've implemented the changes you asked me. And you're going to see the, the fruit of, of that right away. Right. Um, so they guide you. Okay. They push you. Um, they're not. They're not holding your hand. Right. Um, but they have so much experience, and and you just they give you an extra boost of confidence. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. And that, is that a bit what you do in the Absolute Bachelor Club in terms of guiding people through that? And do you apply some of those techniques that you're learning in your coaching sessions? Well, 100%. So okay. <laughs> um, date coaching is very similar to business coaching. Um, I'm not afraid of asking the questions that are going to make my clients maybe perhaps uncomfortable. Okay. If you're not willing to get into that zone where you're asking yourself the right questions, where you are facing your own mirror and looking inside. That's a tough one sometimes. Yes, <laughs> you have to be willing to make the right changes that are going to make you happy in the end. Okay. Uh, and that's what coaching is all about. Nice. Can you tell, I mean, when you have a new client coming in, can you tell, okay, this is gonna take a while with this person or this person, I. It's going to be quick, matching them up. <laughs> that is like opening a box and, and really not knowing what's going to happen. So there are times when you think, wow, this person is absolutely amazing. They're going to be the easiest person right. to match. You send them out on dates and then... <laughs> So, um, <laughs> and it's, and it's all good because those are the things that may not come out in a, in an interview, right? right? Um, I love it. I love it. And, and every client, uh, comes with their own set of, of values right. and of sometimes challenges and, and we work together to get them ultimately to right. their relationship Have you goal. ever been shocked? Like to see, you know, you do the interview and then you send them on a date and you're like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Have you ever been shocked? <laughs> um, yes, my, my clients have shocked me. <laughs> they, they shock me, but, um, um, but 
but they shock me in a wonderful way. <laughs> They're human, and, and I'm human, and, and we're all here to learn and, and right. to go through these experiences together. Yes. I would love to hear those stories. <laughs> you should put that in a book, too. Right, the self-sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Some people, that's part of their pattern, is to self-sabotage yeah. at some point. You know, and I'm sure that takes quite a bit to break that cycle. That's right? the hard, that's the hard work. <laughs> yeah. And the opposite must be true as well. Sometimes you think it's going to be such a difficult case and then you see the growth in the person. That must be, that must be fulfilling to see someone evolve. Yes, and sometimes there you just do the first match, and the first match is right. And oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. And you thought that maybe they were going to take forever to be matched, and no. So mm -hmm. I see everything. Oh, nice. Yeah. Do you have a favorite story? <gasps> favorite story. <laughs> a client of mine just gave birth, um, oh, nice. and next week I'm I'm off to her home uh, for a photo shoot. Okay. And, and um, she she didn't believe. She didn't believe. She was about to get in, inseminated. Okay. She, and and she decided. Uh, well, I stopped it. <laughs> Someone for you. <laughs> Intervention, right? Um, and and that's got to be a, a really a top story of mine. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. Nice. So you must build long-lasting relationship with some of these people as well, right? I do. Because right? it's such an intimate part of their lives. Some bond must uh, must be created. Yes, they either forget about me and <laughs> and and are happy to never speak to me because they were matched, or right. or they I'm I'm part of their story. Right. So yeah. Oh, well, that that <laughs> does sound like a beautiful story. So, I mean, what tips would you give? Like top dating tip, maybe one or two, mm -hmm. for someone who maybe is stuck in the rut. They've gone on a few dates and they never make it to date number two. Let's say. Ah, that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. So not making it to date number two. Is this a guy or a girl or? Let's say a girl. Let's say a girl. Definitely mm -hmm. ask for your feedback, okay. okay? A lot of times, many times when you go out on dates, whether you met somebody online or, or through friends, they're, going, they're not going to tell you the real reason why you're not... Um, the person they're choosing. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. We cannot be everyone's choice. Right. So to say, hey, I need that constructive feedback. Would you tell me why it is I'm not a match for you? So that you don't have to feel like it's something you did. That can because be a little scary. often it's not. <laughs> it can be scary, but it's it's not something you could change or tweak. Right. And it's and and a woman should understand that she cannot be every guy's choice. Right. Hmm. No, it makes sense. It's sometimes it's, it really isn't us. <laughs> you know, it's not us, it's them type of thing. Um, and, you know, I think it would be scary, but I, I agree, it must be useful to know what the feedback is. Then, you know, if it is something you can tweak, then you could just tweak it. Yes. Right? And what about advice in terms of businesswomen? Because you have all these great ideas, you're creative, and there's clearly more in the works for you in the future. What advice do you give uh, to someone who maybe want to get in the industry, in the dating industry? Definitely be branded as much as possible. Okay. Um, the more branded you are, the more people will come to you. Okay. Um, and so to come out and to have a very... A clear vision of your target client mm -hmm. and to always be marketing to your target clients and not feel the need to match and help everyone okay. because you can't see so really choose who you want to 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 help <laughs> and people often especially nowadays it's all about um, you know personal branding so your clients might choose your business because of you because they fell in love with with you the coach, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, so developing personal brand definitely makes sense. That too, <laughs> that too. Uh, personal branding, your, uh, your look, your message, mm -hmm. um, be clear on your message, what you're saying, um, and, and to just go out there and not be afraid. Right. Not be afraid and not to think that everything's gotta be perfect <laughs> before you can get that first client. You right. just have to be a few steps ahead of your client to be mm -hmm. able to help them. Right.
Well, thank you so much for all the advice. I really appreciate you taking the time. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much, Cindy. <laughs> thank I you. Loved it. And thank you to you guys for joining me on another episode of Couch Talk. See you next time. Wish to see you, wish to see you, and may all the colors. <laughs>